welcome back to a new video in today's video i am creating a gel polish set using some colors from madame glam the first color i've got is rich mambo it is this gorgeous pink i've also got meet me halfway which is a gorgeous purple and on my way which is a gorgeous turquoise um so if they don't have these colors in stock they will have some similar i've got my tips and this set i done is inspired by this image here um, which is one that Sarah, one of the mods on the Nail Sugar group, posted. Um, it's like a, she posts inspiration pics, and I was inspired. So, what I'm doing for this set is I am applying one coat of each color of the gel polishes to a tip. The Madame Glam gel polishes cure in an LED lamp for 30 seconds. I have to make sure I got that. I got it totally wrong yesterday. I was like, cures in a UV lamp. And it, I actually meant LED. I don't have a UV lamp. Although some of them are like LED UV, aren't they? I don't know. The one I've got, I think, is an LED. But hey-ho. <clears throat> uh, so this is the first coat. Um, on these tips, you might not need two coats. Um, on an actual fingernail, you might need two coats. Um, I'm going in with the second coat now. I sometimes like to apply two coats anyway because you get that rich... You just get that really rich you know brings out the do you know what i mean yeah look at that i just want it just nothing nicer than freshly applied gel polish is there when you get when it's all smooth and oh my gosh i just i'm loving gel polish at the moment i think if i'm honest i probably prefer working with gel polish over anything else like I love, I don't get me wrong, I love working with acrylic, but there's just something about gel polish for me. Look at this purple. Yeah, so if I don't have these colours in stock anymore, they will have colours very similar. Um, I don't, I'm not, I, I don't keep up with colours that are discontinued. Um, but they do have, yeah, they will have other colours that are very similar. So if you can't get any of these ones, there'll be alternatives on their website. You can also get 30% off any Madden Glam gel polishes using my code NATMOG30. Oh, look at that. I love that kind of colour. <laughs> I just love it. So I've got my palette. This is um this is a palette from Nelchemy. Um I quite like this one. I'm putting three lines of the colours. The colours. <laughs> I'm putting a line of each of the colours that I'm using. So meet me halfway on my way and rich mambo. Like next to each other because we're going to do a marble. I love gel polish marbles as well. Oh, I love them. And I have got the blooming gel from Madame Glam. So if you don't have blooming gel, you could use base coat. I know people use base coat as blooming gel. Um, I don't know, I, I mean it obviously helps disperse the colour, but I don't know if, I don't know if it works as well as Blooming Gel, but it will do the job to a certain degree. So if you don't have the Blooming Gel, use some base coat. Don't cure it. I've just wiggled my needle tool thingy through the colour, and then I'm using my Born Pretty Ombre brush to scoop up a little bit of the colour. Don't apply it too thickly, because I found a couple of times doing this, where you've put the gel polish on way too thick um, the light isn't going to penetrate through all the gel and you will probably end up with some wrinkling so don't over don't go over the top um, but you know you want to you want to make sure it's you know covered covered like and there we go and there will be some kind of transparency bits here but not too much see it's pretty much covered I, can't, I really liked how this marble turned out. And then obviously the longer you leave it, the more it's going to kind of spread out a little bit because of that blooming gel. Okay, if you want to hold it upside down, you can. I just like to leave it to settle for a few seconds before I put it in the lamp. And then I'm using Bend and Snap. This is the purple from the Made in Colour collection. This is one of their, I think it was their latest collection. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of this through the marble. This has got a shimmer through it. I'm using my Natalie Mugridge Nail Sugar Detailer Brush. This is my most favourite detailer brush in the whole wide world. I kind of have to say that, but when I say that, it's not a lie. It genuinely is. I've used it since I've had it. And before we had this one, I used the... Um, 
they send you samples of brushes to try i used the sample brush for a long time um and then yeah and then and then we have this made and i just absolutely love it so i'm gonna follow the marble through with some of this spend and snap gel polish it's got a very slight holographic shimmer through it i think it's holographic um it's really unusual to tell but i'm gonna the, the marble kind of curves round and i thought oh that's quite unusual so i thought i would follow the follow the curve around you see and then once i'm happy with that i'm going to pop it in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds and then i'm just going to put it up there for a minute so at the moment we are we've got this this is what we've got okay i'm going to do this nail now the fifth nail <clears throat> So this is going to be an ombre. Um, I am going to, I've sped it up. Uh, in fact, I think I speed up a lot of my video. Um, it's just because I feel like if I don't, I don't know. Yeah, anyway, right. To do an ombre, I like to keep my gel polish layers very thin. Um, otherwise, you kind of end up, you kind of end up getting flooded. I just find that keeping the layers thin helps with the ombre, the blend. Um, so I'm using my Born Pretty Ombre brush and this is the first coat so it doesn't have to be perfect but you can't that's as far as I'm going to go um, and again I'll just leave it for a few seconds just to settle a little bit before I put it in the lamp so that I don't end up with lots of like grooves in the gel polish once it's cured though I do have a cure for that I do put some base coat on afterwards and, and let that settle so yeah so we're going to go in with the second coat I do exactly the same as the first coat I leave my layers thin If you do find that you put too much on and your ombre brush does get a little bit full up with gel polish, just wipe it through between some kitchen paper towel. Kitchen paper towel, hang on a second. As well, make sure you um, clean your brush off before you do the second coat, before you do the blend for the second coat. You don't want to contaminate the top and the bottom part. So again, I'm just flicking my ombre brush between the colours and I'm moving it up and down slightly so that I get that nice transition. Is that the right word? Um, purple and this colour, this was quite, I am working this quite a bit because the colours are quite different. Um, so, I mean, depending on what colour you colours you use, the, the ombre will be easier to achieve or less easy to achieve. So I'm going to leave it like that. I thought, do you know what that's going to do? Um, pop it in the lamp. And then, there we go. So this is where we're at so far. So far, so good. Right, this, um, I'm probably going to do more of a time lapse here because I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I had looked at the design on the photo that, no, not the photo, on the image that Sarah had shared. And I'd also Googled mandala nails to get um, an idea of what to do for this nail. Um, I am, I'm gonna just, cause this was, this was quite difficult. So I'm gonna let you just watch this and then I will talk you through the next one. Cause the next one I do is, um, it's more, it's less, fiddly than this one so i'll talk you through the next one and i'll just let you watch hit i'll let you watch this one a bit Okay, so I find adding dots a lot easier using a dotting tool. You can get sets of about five different size dotting tools. The, just that the knobbly bit on the end just comes in like, you get big bits and small small bits. Um, so yeah, so I always find dots easier to do with a dotting tool. Cure as you go. If you're happy with a, a certain part, um, give it a flash cure so that you know that if you make a mistake when you come to wipe the mistake off you're not going to you know wipe off the whole design um, and then what I decided to do was this was the fiddly bit um, I took the on my way and meet you meet you halfway meet me halfway um, the, you know the purple and the turquoisey gel polishes and I decided to fill in some areas of this nail now obviously you don't want to go over the black 
but I mean I do in some pace in some parts but um it's just it was right it was a little bit fiddly so this is why I thought I'd just pretty much do a time lapse of this one um I'm gonna do every other one turquoise and then every other one in between that's gonna be purple I'll finish that now and then I'm going to show you this one. So this one I decided to do a sort of mandala design coming from the corner at the top and I'm going to make the lines thicker and I'm going to make it almost like I kind of zoomed in because it just it looks actually this one I think turns out to be my favorite nail in the end. Um, so imagine that you take a section of the mandala, zoom in and then you're gonna basically you're gonna copy that zoomed in area on the nail just you know um it's it's a lot easier as well it's a lot less fiddly. i mean it's still fiddly don't get me wrong but it's a lot less fiddly um so yeah so you can keep uh, initially i just do a thin line and then i thicken it up so don't worry if you think oh it's still quite thin but it's it's not it's and and as well because you're doing a thin line initially if your line is a little bit wonky or a little bit skewiffy in one part because you're making the line thicker you can make the line thicker on the side that needs straightening up or do you know you know i think i'm hope i'm making sense so i'll let you watch this and i'll see you in a second Okay, so as before, I'm going to use the dotting tool to add my dots. If you don't add paint, then the dots will get smaller the more you press in, obviously, because you're you're losing the product. Um, but if you want to keep them all the same size, just keep adding adding product to the end of your dotting tool. Um, give it a full cure. I was using Nelkami's uh, Artisan Gel Paints, so they need a full 60 second cure in an LED lamp. And then I'm going to go over with the Velvet Matte Top Coat. I love Velvet Matte Top Coated Nails if I've done detail on them. In fact, I love Velvet Matte Top Coat anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna go over all of them with this Velvet Matte Top Coat because I want this design to be matte finished. And this one is also gonna be matte finished. Oh no, 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 right, yeah, for this one, I'm gonna put base coat over first and then I'm gonna hold it upside down um, just to get rid of some of those bumps. So I'll let the gel settle upside down for a minute. Though to be fair, because we're gonna matte top coat this, when you matte top coat nails, it's really good at hiding um, lumps and bumps. But I mean, obvious lumps and bumps, I don't I don't want obvious lumps and bumps, but if it's got not many, then you just need to go over with the top coat. Um, do, you know, did I, did I, I hope I made sense then. Um, pop them all in the lamp and you can see, look, you can't see any lumps or bumps or anything, which is brilliant. Uh, I'm going to kind of put them in some order. I'm going to pop some crystals on these end two nails as well. And this is what they look like. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Don't forget to join Nail Sugar's website, ne website Nail Sugar's group. Um, if you want to get 10% off any Nail Sugar stuff, you can do so using my code NATMUG10. And also 30% off Madame Glam gel polishes using my code NATMUG30. Um, I'm not going to be posting, I'm not going to be uploading tomorrow, but I will see you guys on Thursday. Love you, bye!